so uh, I no longer make movies, so, you know, like, I'm, I'm a dead part of dead history, so it's like, <laughs> um, but I, I, I still work in movies in a different kind of way. I, um, uh, I have this uh, software program, and I can capture images from uh, DVDs, and I decided to start uh, mixing and matching different images, like what if you created scenarios um, from different cultures, from different time periods, in which people who ordinarily would not have been in the same movie somehow appear in the same movie, uh, in the scenes from one of their movies. In, in, in a way, um, I started making these different narratives um, that distorts and almost profanes the meaning of the original narrative uh, and puts it into a new context. Not that I know what that context is. I, I don't know what the meaning is. I don't think it has a meaning. But it brings up uh, all kinds of, hopefully, it brings up in the viewer uh, associations that um, are out of the image. They, they, they go forward and backwards, which is what I try to do with my clip films and uh, even in two other films that are being shown here, Postcards and uh, Exterior Night, which use um, found footage images, but poured into a narrative framework. So these new photo montages, um, I mean, basically, it's exploding the visual history that uh, that we're both blessed with and burdened with. I mean, uh, film history has reached a very uh, strange point in its existence. I mean, we have maybe thousands of really great movies, maybe hundreds of great movies, uh, in a very, very short period of time. In, in, in a period of 100 years, uh, film history has been a very, very rich, fertile art as well as uh, industry. And uh, in a way, it, it still today, you know, shapes our lives in ways that we don't know. I mean, we're, we're all kind of prisoners of, of, of past images, and we're all um, these Im these images. Uh, we we incorporate them into our daily lives, into the things we discuss. And we always say, I mean, I don't know if this is true in Spain, but you know, like uh, phrases from the Wizard of Oz become part. Of American cultural you know, landscape, you know, like you say, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Everybody knows what you mean. Uh, I don't know if it's how you can translate this. It's, it's a little complicated, but it's, it's but I mean, phrases from on the waterfront uh, are, you know, like incorporated into uh, daily language. Phrases, phrases from phrases and images from the Godfather film. So. It's, it's part of the cultural uh, lingua franca, so to speak. So, uh, I don't know, I mean, I can intellectualize and say, well, I'm, with, I'm tr what I'm trying to do is like reassess what these images really mean. None of this bullshit. I, I, I'm not trying to reassess what these images mean. I'm just playing with them. I'm just uh, trying to find a new way to use these images that uh, are part of our cultural history. Well, it, it's, 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 it's not a question of love-hate. It's just a question of what do these images really mean? They say they mean something, but they mean something else. Uh, they, they, pretend, they pretend that they're light, like, for example, the Rock Hudson movies, Rock Hudson comedies pretend to be light, sophisticated comedies with nothing else on their minds except to entertain their audi the audience. But they have like a whole bunch of social coding in them that uh, nobody bothers to think about when they're watching the movies. Now, I particularly hate those movies, so I was thinking about it. Um, there's, there's no love involved, and uh, and it's not even the hating the movies, it's the hating the whole system of values that the movies um, uh, supports and uh, encourages. You know, all these virgin comedies.
with uh, Doris Day is the oldest virgin in the world, and uh, Rock Hudson is the most manly of men in the world. You know, it's like, it's exploding myths. Doris said uh, the, the famous phrase is, uh, uh, it's, film is truth 24 frames, 24 times a second. Well, it's just the opposite. I mean, film is live is 24 frames a second. Um, and I don't think I'm the first person to say that. Uh, Sounds familiar. Like yeah, I think even uh, a filmmaker whom I hate, uh, Michael Haneke, just said that recently about his other film, his most recent film. But uh, no, it, films are lies, and uh, especially Hollywood films. And especially for me, who probably was more influenced by Hollywood films than you were um, when you were growing up. Uh, yeah, it, it's very important to, uh, to unmask these distortions that they, this, this false conversation that uh, is created between the spectator and the screen images. Okay, it's not a Yes. 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 Yes